Hello everyone, welcome back to Back in Diapers. Um, today I'm coming at you with a diaper review, and this is a diaper that is fairly new on the market. Um, and it comes from Bambino. And recently Bambino has been changing up a lot of their products. Uh, they now have the V2 out of all the older diapers, um, and the V2 is basically a whole new diaper, so it's like the same themes but different like it's an all over print as opposed to just the panel but um they did come out with a new diaper and it is called the cloudy c-l-o-u-d-e-e -E. so here it is um it is a very very light blue it's, it's a really pretty color um this is one of my most favorite prints i've had in quite a long time um but it has like little unicorns and balloons and clouds and stars and moons and it's pretty cute. Um, it's kind of the typical um, diaper style, really. Um, so it does have front and back waistbands, as you can see here. Um, it has a landing zone, as you can also see. And it has, oh, excuse me, I have a sneeze trying to come. <coughs> excuse me, that wasn't the last one. <coughs> Anyway, it has four tapes, as you can see, and we'll go ahead and open her up here. Now, Bambino has a different inside lining than all the other diapers. Um, their middle panel, and I'll kind of try to show you a little bit here, but their middle panel is is rather different. And I'm, I actually kind of like their panel. It's really super soft, I will say that much. But as you can see, it's got all these little, it almost looks like a, um, a jersey fabric in there. And I'll get it as close as I can, but see how muddy uh, that is there. Um, and you'd think it kind of would it cause issues with the sap, but it really doesn't for me, at least not that I have noticed. Um, and it's really comfortable, and it does a fantastic job at uh, wicking. So it's kind of like a combination of the typical material, which is on after the leak guards, it's the typical material. Um, it's kind of a mixture between the typical material and like a jersey material, but it's as soft as the other stuff. So it's a really cool little um, type of material in there. Um, it does have, the, the funny thing that I kind of find with um, a lot of the diapers lately is you can really see how the shape of this diaper works. Like you can see that there's this circle part, but then the front panel just sticks up, which is kind of funny, um, which is not a problem. It doesn't make a difference whatsoever if, you know, but it kind of shows you that it really is truly two pieces type thing. And that's kind of why we get the, the breakdown issues sometimes on the diapers is because it is more than one piece. Um, but they have, they have pretty good leak guards. Here's, uh, the leak guard is not incredibly tall, but it does work really, really well. Um, it's nice and strong. It's both, it's glued at both the elastic portion and down here, uh, lower down here. You can see that, um, it's glued down there and it does work really well. Their elastics are nice and tight on the leg gathers. Um, there's... I, I was surprisingly impressed by this diaper. Um, I ordered it because I wanted to try it, number one, and I'm really glad I did because there's a couple of reasons why, and I'll tell you in a minute. Um, there's a little bit of, at least on this diaper, I don't know if it's on the rest of the diapers, but there's a little of inconsistency in the uh, placement of the leg gathers. Let me see if, I can, if you can see it here. I gotta pull it so I can see what I'm showing you here as well. Um, but you see how the spacing is not completely even on there, whereas on the other side, it's a very even placement, and I wonder if you can see it better on the outside. Probably. No? Okay. Either way. So um, that's, that's not necessarily a huge problem, so long as the gathers are still there, it works pretty well. But um, it's a nice wide nice wide crotch. Um, I thoroughly enjoy these diapers. I was so shocked, guys. Okay, so as you all know, in my last reviews, I've really been complaining about the fact that these landing zones do not go farther out. 
Um, and while these say the same measurements as like the um, the rebels and stuff, the landing zone itself is actually a little bit longer. And they still even have another probably two or three. I mean, they could really take this all the way out in all honesty, but they have another two or three inches on either side that they could put that landing zone. If your diaper companies watch my videos, make your landing zones wider because it helps us with the fit a little bit better when we can, because technically there is a whole extra four inches you can get out of these diapers if the landing zone went out a little bit farther. So they need to go out farther. And that's for all sizes. Like, bring the landing zones out pretty much as far as you can handle. So long as there's a couple inches of overlap, it's really going to be just fine. Um, but anyway, these ones I like because they actually fit me really, 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 really well. And um, I was kind of worried about how these would function. Um, because I've heard from some people that the V2s aren't as good as the, you know, they're not that thick. But I'm not sure if this is the same as the V2s or not. If it is, then the V2s are going to be pretty good. Um, because these fit and function fantastically. I really, really like them. And the print I like because it's blue and it's not overly girly and it's not overly masculine. It's kind of in between and just fun. All right, here's the back. And the coverage on this diaper is fantastic, by the way. I know it kind of looks like it's not great coverage um, from the width aspect, but it really does cover quite a bit, and it's really nice. Um, they have, I, at first when I opened this up, I'm like, oh, crap, they didn't switch to the, to the transparent tapes, which means they won't be as good. But look at that, guys. It's transparent. I'm not going to peel it all the way up because I don't want to not be able to use this diaper later. <laughs> Um, so the tapes work fantastically. Um, they, I have had zero problems with them sticking. They are fantastic tapes, just like every other diaper right now. Their tape that uses this style tape, they're fantastic. Seriously, most of these diapers are the same exact cut. A lot of them are made on the same machines, so they're going to be very similar to each other. But I do love the. I do really like this one. I was thoroughly impressed, and I have used Bambino in the past. And they've never been very good. So I was thoroughly impressed with this diaper. And it works great for nighttime as well, guys. I've worn this through the night. Um, if you're a super duper heavy wetter, it may not be the greatest diaper for you for nighttime. But as I am not, like, I wet, but I'm not, like, it's not my most wet time. So it works great. And once it's... Once it's all fluffed, it's pretty dang thick. So, and I have, I would say that on a normal day, I get about three to four large weddings. Guys, when I talk about large wedding, I'm talking massive, okay? I talk massive. Um, generally, I, if my bladder holds itself the whole way, it usually releases around seven to 800 mils at a time. So when I say it holds a full wedding and doesn't leak, or I say it holds like three full weddings, I'm talking bigger than most people's normal weddings would be. So um, it holds up really, really well. Um, I have had zero problems. I have had no problems with the leak guards coming apart when you have cream on. Um, I've just had no issues. There's not really breakdown. Um, the only thing that I've noticed that might be a con is that if I've worn this diaper for hours and hours and hours and hours at a time, I'm talking like 12 hours or more, um, sometimes the padding between your legs can kind of squish in and a little bit detach from the backing. So it looks kind of like once you wet, it's squished up a little bit. But that doesn't make a ton of a difference that I've found. So that's not a huge problem for me. Um, but I would say these are a pretty comfortable diaper. Let's talk about the biggest con for any diaper you're going to get from Bambino. Okay, guys? Um, Bambino is so far, from what I can tell if not the most, one of the most expensive places to get diapers. They sell the Cloudies in packs of 48, and they cost you about $113 for 40. As a comparison, Tykeables, you get 80 diapers, and it costs you $155. Uh, kind of the same range for ABU. So they are horribly expensive for what they are. Uh, Bambino really needs to get with the picture, work on their prices, because their prices are horribly astronomically high. Um, and that is actually what has 
kind of curbed me from even considering using Bambino more often. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like probably a one-time thing, unfortunately. Be, I mean, okay, it may not be a one-time thing for us because this is the diaper that fits. Out of every single diaper I've tried, I don't have any issues with hitting that landing zone. It works fantastically. So yes, I may decide to bite the bullet and buy those. Um, which is going to double my, like, normally I spend right around 150 um, per month on diapers. Uh, just diapers alone, I'm talking. And I usually buy cases of 80 or 72 or something like that. So we're talking within the 150 to 160 range. Now, if I do this, that's going to double my price, basically. So it's going to be really high cost because I would have to buy at least two cases a month. But they work. And if I can buy one case of these and a case of something else that's going to last me through longer and be able to use it longer, it's totally worth it to me because I don't have to... Okay, so with me, I have gigantic hips. I don't look heavy you know, up here as much, like through my top, my chest and everything, but my hips are gigantic. So when it comes to putting these diapers on, it's usually a stretch to actually get it on the landing zone. And I don't know, I need to do a measure measurement on these and see if people are, if the companies are measuring from wing to wing, or if they're le measuring landing zone to the, you know, one end of the landing zone to the next. Um, because I could swear I'm not that big. <laughs> But anyway, these fit beautifully, and that's why I might stick with them. I'm not sure. I will be purchasing more diapers here in the next few days. It just depends on what I order. I would like to kind of order these because they do fit so beautifully. We shall see, though. All right, so that is my review. They're a great diaper, but price-wise, they're horribly astronomically large, uh, high. I mean, these are more expensive than the um, than the peekaboos, and the peekaboos probably hold about one and a half times the amount that these hold. I would say I've uh, peekaboos are same as um, the North Shore Mega Maxes, so that's kind of what I'm comparing them to. Um, honestly, I would say these are. The, the Mega Maxes probably only hold about one to two weddings more for me, so it, I don't know. Either way, they're a good diaper. Their price is horrible. Bambino, you need to get with the pricing here. The pricing is horrible. Horrible. For what you're offering, pricing is horrible, but oh well. I, I People will pay it, I guess. Unfortunately, people like me who have to find a diaper that works for them, have to pay more, which does not help the case of them charging less. But they really need to knock down their prices because they are like the highest priced diapers, diaper company out there in, in general. But either way, give them a try. They are, they are a pretty decent diaper and I have enjoyed using them. So I'm curious. Curious what you all think about the cloudy here. Have you tried those versus the V2s? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. And if you're new here, thank you so much for joining my channel and for sticking it to the end of the video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button so that you uh, help me spread my uh, channel around YouTube a little bit better. And also make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a video. And you'll be notified when I go live, which is almost daily. So definitely make sure to get those notifications on. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time for another review. You have an awesome day. Goodbye.